Hello, happy homebrew Wednesday. Uh, yes, it's me, Darren Whittington, here again. Um, I definitely need to do something about my channel name. Um, I started just tweaking around with a, um, a website, but um, I'm just debating whether to do it in a certain type of um, Content management system. You might notice I sometimes wear these kind of, kind of funny Drupal. As well, the language is called Drupal. I'm actually a Drupal developer. My sins. But anyway, uh, so I'm either thinking about doing some Drupal or WordPress. And my friends say just do WordPress. Let's get it going. So hopefully, I'm going to get some sort of like website up together for um, just to reflect a bit on my channel. But I just need a name. That's, uh, yeah, well, there we are. let's crack a bit open. I've got some, um, some red, um, well, American red ale. I don't know what the difference between American red ale and American amber is. This is obviously 5 a.m. site by Brewdog. But, um, it's got lots of, it's really good flavour, isn't it? Um, I think you all drink, hopefully drank this already, but it's a great little beer. Cheers, bottoms up. Yucky da, whatever. Anyway, it's been a very busy few weeks. Um, I've got a bit of an obsession with amber and kind of red ales going at the moment. So I've actually made two brews. Uh, one you might have seen a couple of weeks ago. And that was the one that I'm entering, entering for the National Homebrew Competition. Um, that I just tested it today. Um, I dry hopped it last Saturday and I just had a good bit of a test with the um, relative gravity and also got my nose around the aromas as well and it's very very good um, flipping wicked actually um, it's attenuated down to about 1012 which has brought its uh, specific well, ABV down to about four point. I think it's about four point eight. Maybe no, about about five. I think actually. I'll have to check that. Hang on a second. Let's have a look on this computer. Um. Four point eight. So yes, it's um a little bit lower than I was expecting. Um, I put that down to having a very low pH. I, um, I put too much acid, acid in and it came to something like 5% and I was looking for maybe 4.2%. Um, I did think it was might have been the Munich because, because the Munich I've got is a bit old now. It's about maybe almost six months old, maybe a bit longer than that. But um, I did another brew of using it this weekend, and I got a really high, uh, got a really very high high mash um, efficiency. That might be something the way I actually stirred the mould when it was mashing and moved stuff around, and um, also I did I sparked slower. So I just need to screw down exactly lock down exactly where I'm going wrong and actually getting my get my efficiency very a bit more consistent. Um, I've noticed the noticed latest version of uh, Beersmith has got a lot more uh, stuff in there for um, doing water calculations. So if you pop your whole whole grain bill into the system, tell it your pH of your water and obviously your water water profile it more or less it, I, I checked it the other day and I did a few calculations and it more or less got it bang on 
so I'm going to try it next time and hopefully it will uh, come out somewhere well I like it 52 I think it is um, anyway what's in the pot what's in the cupboard in the fridge at the moment uh, I've got a I've still got uh, a lot of my some of my gold nail in there and also I've got that brown beer I was drinking last week just a normal generic bitter unfortunately I left my um, I was doing a bit of bottling yesterday trying to get rid of uh, trying to put my stocks down into bottles because I'm going to give a few bottles away and I've got two of my fridge back on which is a bit shitty so it's all been quite warm today so I've just turned the fridge on today but my, but my, my beer's a bit warm at that moment and a bit fizzy but that's alright let's give it a few more days um, at the same time I finished off my pills that I um, I was I made a few months ago and I wasn't so sure about it I really wasn't I I made it and it came out okay and it had a bit of a twang to it and I just don't know what it was and but I bottled it the other day and I got the last two bottles out and it tasted perfectly perfectly fine it was just really really good um, I'm gonna take it to my uh, brew, brewers meet up next Monday and get them out a taste of it and see what they think so I may actually go back and do another pilsner later on in the year I've got all the ingredients I've more or less screwed that got to grips on my um, pH measurements and also I think my the way I actually did it I did um, about 10 litres of my mineral water and about 10 litres of uh, mineral water and I think that, and I actually obviously did a few little adjustments to get the um, get the minerals right, and it seems to come out. It seems to come out quite well. So um, I'll try again. I think Christmas is coming up, so I, I I don't know. I feel compelled to make some sort of strong, <coughs> excuse me, strong beer, and I've often found I make strong beer. I drink a bit of it. I give it all away because I just don't like drinking the really strong stuff because I get too too pissed and what it's like, don't you? But um, let's see what's going on. So yeah. So next week's my um, kind of Bristol beer meetup, and uh, next this Saturday is well this week in Bristol is Bristol Beer Week. I haven't done any for it. This is the first beer I've had a week, really. I think I had a couple on Monday, which was my call day. But Bristol, Bristol Beer Week goes on all week, and there was some breweries open last weekend. And this this coming weekend, there's a thing called a, a the Bristol Craft Beer Festival, and that's that this is being held in a in a place in Bristol and. Uh, I volunteered to actually do some bar work there, so I'm doing a bit of spot of bar work on um, on Saturday day, and in the evening I get free entry and a free T-shirt. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a bit of bar work, um, get a free T-shirt, get to have a poke around, taste a few of the beers afterwards. Hopefully they're free. I haven't really read anywhere, but I've read that the entrance is maybe about thirty-five pounds to actually get in, and I'm assuming that once you got in, that thirty-five pound covers just having a few few beers. To see, uh, I think the likes of Brewdog are there, and uh, a couple of the local brewers, a couple of the national ones, and um, yeah. Should be quite a good range. So, should be quite good crack, as they say. Um, Monday is my brew, beer meetup group. Friday this week, I've got a hand in my national homebrew competition beer, which is an American Amber. As I said, it's cold crashing at the back. It smells marvellous. It just smells 
excellent. It's um, it's come out really well. I mean, I've only tasted it warm, but I can smell the hops there. The hops really there. It's got the right amount of body and the the hop alcohol strength is fine. So hopefully, once it's cleared up a bit over the next week, or it's bottled conditioned a bit and carbonated a bit, it'll just be bang on. It'll taste good. Only time will tell, obviously. Um, I went to another competition as well last week, and um, yeah, I went to the SJ Pro. So I made my beer last last Saturday. I think it ferment, finished off fermenting today. I need to do some a uh, bit of. I'm just doing a direct to rest at the moment. Do a spot of maybe dry hopping for a week or two, or um, bottle it up and send it off. I think it's at the end of next week. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it needs to be sent by the end of next week. I've got 13 bottles out of it, so uh, I'm going to perhaps dry hop it a day or two once the after the rest is over, uh, because I know it's fully, it's actually fully, fully finished. Fermenting and dry hop it, keg it up Monday ish, um, Monday, Tuesday, carbonated up for the week, bottle it up and send it away. And uh, some lucky people get to taste it, or well, maybe they're lucky. Hopefully it'll uh, go down well. And um, I think this show I've got to send, I've got to send 13 bottles off, which it's gonna be a pain in the bottom, really. I mean, crates only really hold twelve, don't they? So I was gonna do a box of twelve, and it's gonna strap a bit of masking tape with a bottle on the outside. Perhaps that's my, uh, my that's the only way I've just had to do it all. Send the bottle separately and see if it actually gets there. But um, yeah, um, so that that's that's been done. Um, I I'm still been looking at my. Um, my yeast out there from St. Torstall Brewery. I wonder what I could do with it and what I've decided to do is to actually grow it up a bit. Um, but I haven't got any kit to do uh, to grow yeast or to um, I haven't got the yeast plates and yeast, yeast stirs and stuff like that. Excuse me. I've got fruit flies all over the place around here at the moment. Um, so what I've done, I've quickly knocked together a stir plate. Where's it gone? Hang on a second. So what I've done, I've, ha I've actually had this little project box around for a while. Um, I tried making a, uh, a brew pie in it, which worked. But um, it kept as a pain in the bottom, and I think it was more fuss than it was worth really because I've actually just put an SDC 1000 outside and it seems to do the job. And once you keep an eye on, I mean, when I've got blow tube on, on the tank, I can actually tell when um, when the fermentation starts to go down a bit. So you can more or less tell when, it, when it's finished, you don't need to. So uh, nice as the uh, boot pie was, it, it was just a bit of an experiment, really. Um, so let's show you what I've done. Um, oops, what's going on here? So, um, where's the inside? We so I've got this uh, device here, and that, that actually controls the speed of the fan. Pull down line for about two pound fifty. Not much to it really. And obviously, this thing here connects to this little board here. And what happens here? The Twelve volts come in, comes in by this bit of cable here. On there goes in here and then comes out of there and then goes to the fan. 
what I've done the fan here, I just stuck it down with a bit of um, a bit of plastic plastic glue gun thing, and I just glued this on as well onto there. And I've got a um, piece, a, a hard drive magnet on there, and I've stuck that on as well. So yeah, it seems to work. One thing I I think I'd do is just to drill. I don't know. Some people, a lot of people do this, but I don't, I'm thinking, well, what happens to the air? It might be like a bit of a vacuum there. That's uh, that's what I've done. It took me ten minutes. Well, I keep buying bits and bobs, but that seems to be working well. Fine, very simple. Um, I wouldn't show you working. I've also ordered a some stir bars. Um, I've actually tested this out with some magnet I've got going here, but it's just not a stir bar and it's too strong and it's like trying to stick to the top of the fan. But um, hopefully the stir bars will be here in a day or two. And also I've ordered a two litre a two litre flask as well, which hopefully will um, I can use to do all my starters in. Um, I think they're obviously more cut out for for using with stair bars and things, so we'll see. Hopefully that will all work out fine. I can get my centaur yolks to yeast. Okay, I'm gonna make a starter with my grandfather. I might just make I don't know, I might just make a load of work and store it somewhere in a in a thing and just take it out where I need it to make, make starters and things. And um yeah. And yeah, maybe make a beer in a few weeks' time, in my own time, and not rushed like I have been recently. But um, yeah, so that, that's 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 all the news. What's all the news I've got? I think it's quite a lot of news. But uh, hopefully, um, that's been to you all to date. Um, I'll hopefully get back to you all next week and. Let's give more feedback on this SJ poor thing, but I think the next year thing you'll see is I think the weekend afterwards I'm actually doing some I'm stewarding at the national homebrew competition, which is as I said those times just local. So I'm going to do some stewarding for the day, and um, I may even give you a uh, give you a give a video of the the actual the, the winning people winning and. I love those that and uh, you could actually if you put a competition thing in put something in the competition you want to actually tune in and watch the watch the presentation ceremony and see all the see how it's all done I'll um you get to see it. Um but that's next week. Got lots of things to go to to do before then. Think of the plans. No, that's it. Um, I'll come back to you when I. I might actually do a small little video when I've um, finished with my goal stuff this day, plate and show you what's happening, and how it works, and all that. Um, and, and that's about it. Okay. Well, you all have a good week. I'll. Uh, <sighs> See you all soon. We'll see when I see you next and have a good week. Oh, I also may have some more beer reviews. To do. I'm obviously going to have the SJ Paul beer reviews to do once I get them, but I might have some beer reviews to do soon as well. But you'll see when you see them. Right, have a good week, guys and ladies. Um, please subscribe, uh, like, and share with your friends if you think this suitable uh, watching and listening material for them to obviously watch and or listen to. Bye.